Hello, people. It's Poet, and we're in the Aether, sort of. We're in the Overworld. Welcome to the Overworld mod, where nothing looks like the Aether anymore. <laughs> Except for this flying cow. So we found my flying cow. He wasn't too, too far away. Um, in actually that direction. So I brought him closer to the portal, and again, he started to wander away. So I was thinking maybe I'll just shove him in a pit like this and call it a day. Now, there, there's there been a lot going, along, going on lately with my, my videos and with me not making a lot of them because of the last week and me being away on a business trip. And uh, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, and, of course, the Aether is always part of that. I've got a lot to show you, but, uh, well, it's not a whole lot to show you, but a little bit to show you. <laughs> I have done stuff here, so get, get, come on, get, get, gotcha. Oh, these birds. Let me tell you something about these birds. They're everywhere now. After beating that sun god. Oh, yeah, they're everywhere. Get, kill them. Kill! Good. Good riddance. They are everywhere now. I mean, they're always in dark places like this. But now that the sun goes down, they're everywhere. Okay, so we've got a goal in mind right now. At this very moment. I almost forgot that I had a bunny on my head so I can just float down. And I will temporarily shoot him over there. And I'm gonna... See if I can grab some of this stuff. And yes, I know I'm using a pick, but who cares? It's an efficiency four pick, so it gets it very quickly, and that's all I really care about. Yikes, that's a hole to nothing. Okay. So I want to grab a bit more of it here, too. If I could reach some of it. Uh, maybe we have to dig up. Yes, getting this butter cloud is very important. I need it. Uh, let's see. Is this the way out already? Where are we? Ah! Oh, no! Not another... Oh, you hit me! Oh, good. Float down to your death. Never come back. Green. Can't see a thing. You know what I learned? If you, if you hit E, you can see everything around you. Um, I don't know what benefit it is, really, and maybe if there's some bad guy around you and you really needed to know what direction he was to start swinging. Uh, I don't know. But otherwise, you can't really see much, because it's all green. Okay, just get as much of this as we can. That just made it a little bit darker down here, but bear with me. I'll make it bright again. There we go. Come on, green, get out of here. There we go. Now, this is going to be a fairly short episode. I don't want to make it too long. Okay. Now that we've got the... How much did we get? 31. So about a half stack of quick soil, butter, rock. Uh, can I get there from over here? I made this little path so long ago. Ooh, look at it, too. Man... I feared nothing when I made this. How do you... Where does it go? That way? Oh, man. This is bad. Oh, yep. Here we go. I was looking for gravitite. I needed it. Where does this end? Canyon of nothing? Good. Uh... Oh, well, here's some land. Now where do we go? I don't... Jeez. This is bad. I don't even know how to get back to where we were. Of course, the... Yeah, I'm fl flying off. Flying off because of the butter rock. Okay, I just want to get back now. Come on. This way. This way's got to be the way. Oh, Ambrosum. i got to get more of this stuff, you know? It, it, now that I know that it creates that healing stone that is so useful to me, I've just been gathering this up like it's no tomorrow. And really, in this world, there might not be a tomorrow. 
Okay, I gotta start digging up or something. <sighs> Rabbit is kind of in my way. I, how how did I even get here now? I'm so confused. I'm so lost. Did I just go in a circle? Yep. Oh, man. I apologize. My directions are never very good. Okay, I'm just going to go back the way I came. That's the easiest way, right? Yeah, I'd say. Come back the way you came, and at least you know which way to go. Hey! This looks like it comes out. It does. Okay, good. Never mind anything I just said. If I had some blue on me, I... No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna jump around. Jump up and get down. Think I can make that? Mm. If I could get up here, maybe. Whoops. Okay. Jump up, jump up. Well, where am I going to go after I get to there? Uh, ah, that's the way I need to go. I see the moron sitting on the rock over there. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. I know where we are. I'm here every day. Okay, I got the achievement. Because apparently I've never played this mod before. <laughs> That's the one thing I really don't like. Well, there's a few things I don't like, and they all have to do with changing the jar. Now, I'll show you a few of them. Come on, rabbit. Get me there so I can show people things. Okay. Get off. One thing. This. The fact that I can't ever use it ever again. Really sucks. I'm sorry, but... What? Only a couple... Ah. Blueberries don't grow like they used to. I'm positive that in other updates they were much more plentiful. But okay. So I can't change the time. That kind of sucks. Uh, the other thing is basically all my achievements reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had two items in here. I think one of them was a life shard, possibly. I'm not sure what it was. I forget what the... <laughs> I forget. It was a like a recovery stone. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a recovery shard. And if I had it in my inventory here or here, my health recovered over time, like every 15 seconds. And in the other spot, I had a little metallic orb that I gained from a Valkyrie chest long ago. Or maybe it was from the gold dungeon. I don't remember. And it basically gave me the ability to breathe underwater in infinitely. So I really like those two items. Reset. The jar. Gone. The other items. I had a, a sweat cape on. My agility cape on. I had a nice little necklace on. One like this. Iron pendant. You reset the jar disappears completely gone this gone this gone and any gloves you were wearing are gone so all of these non custom or non custom entirely custom items completely disappear the second that you reset the jar so that's a bummer and of course lastly these guys they seem to group together like you'll you'll log out and log back in and there will be groups of 10 in a little tiny bundle somewhere. Like, you'll be looking around. Where are all the rabbits? I brought 30 of them here. Now there's just one? Where are they? And you'll see, like, a corner like this. There's just one there. But usually there'll be, like, 10 of them all in that one little square. I don't quite get it. Ah, oh, So, kind of frustrating changing the jar. I guess this mod is intended, once you start playing it, just keep playing it forever never stop but that leads me to my next point I want to thank everyone for watching this this mod so far I've been having some fun with it um, out of all the mods I've ever played the Aether is by far the most complex the most innovative and the most fun I'd say that's just my opinion but 
I'm having fun with it. I'm glad you guys are having fun watching it. Now look at this. I built this the other day. And let me, do I have a rabbit somewhere that I can grab? Let me go see if I can find one. Just a little bit easier when I have a rabbit to kind of lead me away. Here you are. Come in, come into my arms. You saw him. He wanted to be with me. What? Oh, I thought he had popped off my head for a second. All right. Get up there. No, no, come on. Get, there we go. You just got to hit it just right, and then you fly through them all. Okay, so this is my little castle in the sky. Uh, I'd, I'd say that it's pretty obvious when you're flying up to it that that's my little house. <laughs> like, it, you can see it from miles away. And the corners glow. It's still a little bit dark out, so you can see, like, the little pillars here glow. And these pieces glow. I think it looks okay. The only thing I'm not really crazy about is this quick soil glass. Uh, I tried to incorporate the Aether mods glass just because it's Aether and well it could be kinda creative to use it but it just doesn't look that great. Wow look at how fast it breaks. I'm barely tapping it. Wow! That's very breakable. Very brittle. It's like candy. So anyway I'm not crazy about it. I'll probably change it but I'm not sure what I'm going to change it to. Now this, I just started making this little tiny chute. Little tiny hallway of sorts. I don't have many blocks on me to finish it yet, but uh, it'll come out this way. And go for as far as you can see. And where did I get that? Huh? Quick soil. What? Did I pick it up? Did, have I always had this? I guess I've... I don't know. I'll have to check my tape. I just confused myself so bad. But anyway, my idea is to take this butter rock and margarine all the way as far as we can. And what that means <laughs> is I'm going to make a very, very long tunnel. It'll look very similar to this. Just continue it on. And I'll grab a rabbit like so. Grab a rabbit. And I will run. And at the end, I will have a kind of a blue air cloud. The bouncy, bouncy cloud. I will put it at the end and jump off of it, basically. So, I'll grab a rabbit run and bounce and just go for miles I hope I hope that's a way more efficient thing than what I do now is basically I bounce off of there and then I just let him puff up a million times as I float through the air in different directions now that works obviously but if I could get a little bit more distance out of it, I think it'd be great. So I'm going to continue with this and hopefully kind of improve my speed. Now, which is faster? Is this quicksoil glass faster than plain old quicksoil? That's what I want to know. It seems like quicksoil is pretty fast. So what I'm going to do to test it out, I'm going to break this piece. I'm going to put that there. And if I slow down when I hit that, I'll definitely know it's slower. If I speed up, eh, it's about the same. <laughs> That's my scientific test. It's about the same. Actually, you can kind of tell it's the same just by moving back and forth on it it doesn't feel like you're moving any faster when you go over top of it. Yeah, no. Oh well. <laughs> so there, there's a random piece of that there now. What? Now you've got family. Oh! I know what that means. It means that one of my birds hatched. Let's go down, rabbit. Whoop! That's not down enough. There he is. 
Welcome to the family, ugly bird with weird teeth. Oh no! Oh what? Get out of here! You're not welcome to the family! Jerk. Oh, those guys spawn so much now. It's just not. F Whoops! Just not fair. Those guys spawn so so often now. Where did one, two, three? Am I missing three plants? What happened to them? Did they die? Did that bird steal them? I bet he did. Big idiot. Oh. Okay. So my question to you fans, the ones watching and begging for more videos, what would you like to see? Because we've basically done it all in this video. <laughs> we've done it all. We've killed the sun god, we've gathered up lots of different items. Of course, we still don't have all the custom items. There's lots of custom items in the uh, Aether. Different swords. I've looked them up. Don't worry. I know I know what's coming. I know what's happening. Um, is it really worth continuing to find those things? Should I be dungeon crawling a little bit more? Should I be building this place up a lot more? Maybe put a water slide in? <laughs> what would you like to see? Because uh, otherwise the Aether is basically done. I've killed Valkyries. I've killed giant cubes. I've updated it and killed the giant cubes and Valkyries again. I've tamed Moa Bird after Moa Bird. I've got a few of these guys in here now. Ouch! Oh, I almost smacked him with my sword. I was so mad. I found the, uh, the custom disc. Little blue disc. And yes, that was definitely legit. It was a drop from a chest. And so, like, I, I don't know. What else is there? You let me know, and I'll keep playing it. I mean, I'd, I'd love to, because this is one of my favorite mods, but I don't want it to get too stale and just, you know, oh, there's nothing more to do, but here it is anyway. So you let me know, and we will keep going. See you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>